Happy Monday to the YouTube. Today, I've got a video for you on the brand new Fime Group. I don't actually think it's brand new. I think they've had these for like a year, but I'm gonna pretend they're brand new because they just reached out to me about it and I'm not late to the party or anything. So they're brand new Fime Group triggers. Uh, they sent me a couple of them. I think one for the standard AK, one for the Segas, and one for like long range 308 guns or something like that. At least that's what they told me. So uh, we're gonna be unboxing this. They told me it was triggers. Uh, it could be anthrax, so you might see them fucking whack me in real time. So we're all just gonna find out together. All right, so let's see here. Please don't be anthrax. Uh, I got shit to do later, so you know, just try carving this. It's amazing it got to me, by the way, considering it looks like you know somebody right before we filmed uh, <clears throat> cartoonishly, you know, scratched off everything like a fucking cartoon character. Toddler got to my package. This is already the worst review Fine Group has ever gotten on these. I'm pretty sure they regret sending it, but whatever. Yeah. I like those guys, and I hope to God they at least kind of like me. All right, so item number one. It's a Fime Group FCG, and these are 922R compliant, meaning that uh, you won't get your dog shot if you include them in a rifle with a bunch of foreign parts. Is this a love letter? I hope it's a love letter. Uh, no. They did send me a patch, so I guess that kind of makes up for it. I was hoping for like a big, you know, lipstick mark on the bottom, but no, guess not. Which is funny because they're all dudes. Uh, so this is for the 12 gauge. We're going to put that in the Sega 12. And this is for the AK slash RPK style rifles. I'm going to be totally frank and honest. I really don't know what the difference is between these. Uh, I have no idea why some is good in the Sega 12, some is good in the 308s, and, and one of them is good in the, the AK. All right, so from my uh, horribly undereducated and underprepared eye, I have actually spotted a couple of differences between these. If you're curious, you're on the Fine Group website, you're not really sure which one should I get or does it matter. Uh, it seems to me that the, uh, the hammer profile is slightly different on all of them, so they got different little cutaways there in the front. And, uh, you know, just different style there. And on this one, the Sega 12 one, it does seem like this is beefed up a little bit, and it is sitting lower, so I guess it is you know, like a tolerance thing or something. But we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna drop it in the standard AK first. Uh, we're gonna run that for a little bit. We got an AKG 47 over there that we're gonna borrow the fire control group and just throw it in. And uh, I've got a Sega 12 that I have horribly parted out for the AK 50 project. So we've got an accidentally California compliant Sega 12. We're gonna drop these in. So let's go ahead and get to shooting. Okay, so now we have the Fime group fire control group in the AKG 47 and right off the bat, uh, it's very, uh, just installing it, very reminiscent of the ALG AKT trigger. Not sure if that's what they're going for, but it looks kind of like a smoother, more refined version of it, which is actually a good thing because I am a huge fan of the AKT triggers. That is actually probably right now still my all-time favorite. So uh, right off the bat, fairly smooth. Um, no real area where it wants to hang up. So that's a point in its favor. So let's actually get to shooting it. I haven't even, let me, I'll do it, I'll do it dry just to see. Okay, so you can definitely tell there, I forgot to mention that, this is a two-stage trigger, which I'm not a ginormous fan of, but, I mean, some people like it. That is really like a, one of those things where, pretty long on the disconnect, that's one of those things where it is really shooter's preference. Some people like single-stage, some people like two-stage. Uh, is single stage even a thing? Why the fuck am I the one doing this video? But yeah, some people do like uh, two stage triggers. I never considered myself in that camp. Like I said, I like the ALG trigger where it's you know just super crisp, super quick, not a lot of travel to it, and you can accidentally go full auto and scare the fuck out of everybody around you. Now I could just do a really boring static test with this, but let's face it, I'm way too fucking ADD for that. So uh, I'm just gonna try out this trigger. Well, I got some lighter fluid down there and let's see if it goes up. Nice. So I just fucking missed. That's why you don't grow your hair out, kids. All right, so now I have the Fine Group Fire Control Group in the Sega 12. Please ignore the fact that this does not have A, a trigger guard, or B, a pistol grip. I actually stole that part off of, this is a personal gun of mine, I stole that part to finish the AK-50 V1, so if you go back and look on it, uh, it does have a Sega 12 tri or trigger guard and pistol grip. There's a reason for that. It's because I stole it off of this one. So I haven't put that back on, still on the AK-50, so maybe one of these days I'll just sack up, spend 15 bucks and buy another one. That day's not today, so I've got an accidentally California-compliant Sega 12 that we're going to shoot some rounds through. And 
brought another thing of lighter fluid. All right, so what we're basically doing is just, you know, giving it something that is going to light it on fire once we shoot it uh, behind it. Putting a cap back on it. And basically, I'm going to light this and run away so that we can still get the shot. And hopefully it just doesn't blow up here. Taking a lot of risks for this video. All of them my fault. All right, let's go. All right, hopefully the white balance isn't fucked. Uh, here's the Sega 12 with the fine group trigger. We shoot it all classy-like. God, I forgot how much this thing just kicks the absolute dog shit out of you. So as I squat here like early man, getting high off of lighter fluid fumes. Uh, some thoughts on the 922R flame group, fire control groups. Um, it's great if you want a two-stage trigger. Um, I'm actually, I'm probably gonna have to get a little bit more trigger time on it before I give in-depth, really in-depth thoughts. But I will say it's not bad. I do not dislike the triggers at all. Um, it's a two-stage, so that is kind of difficult for me to get used to because I've never really shot on a two-stage trigger before, but if that's what you're used to, a lot of AR guys like those, um, then that is definitely something to consider. Another thing to consider is that they are 922R compliant, meaning that you can put them on a rifle and have them count as three US-made parts if you're worried about 922R and not having the ATF come and shoot Fido. So that's also a, a plus in its favor. So, uh, and if you're looking for anything aftermarket as far as like a Sega 12 specific or a Sega 308 or, or anything like those, um, now I can see with the hammer cuts and everything uh, what they're talking about as far as being specifically cut for those. So uh, That's probably the only intelligent thing I have to say about these triggers uh, at this point. Maybe I'll do a follow-up when I get a couple hundred rounds uh, of trigger time on them. But thank you guys so much for watching. We got a lot of stuff planned for this month particularly. And I guess I will see you guys next Monday. Thanks. Alright, so I'm going to leave these on their original... Well, that might not work. I'm already fucking this up so bad. Instead of wearing a jacket, I gotta look good for uh, YouTube, of course. I'm just, you know, sitting here and you know, warming myself by the flames of, you know, I guess old grill lighter fluid. Because, you know, we're nothing if not environmentalists. You were recording, you weren't recording what?